the city's indoor pools and arenas are still open, at least for now. It's important to keep these things up for families to be able to take a day and go to swim and pool. A long list of services, including city-run daycares, cultural centers, and health clinics, are threatened to close if Toronto's 23,000 inside workers go on strike. This afternoon, the city and the union continued their efforts to avoid a labor disruption, returning to the bargaining table determined to reach a resolution. Hopefully uh, they'll be there long enough to get a, a resolution to this problem. We are determined to stay at the table for as long as it takes to negotiate a collective agreement. Both sides continue to negotiate in this downtown hotel beyond 1201, the deadline this morning. That's when the city was in a legal lockout position and when the union was in a legal position to go on strike. But while there has been some progress, one of the main sticking points continues to be job security. The city hopes Local 79 will accept the same deal as Local 416, which represents the city's outside workers. It said job security for all permanent staff to those with 15 years seniority. The union says that won't work for its members. Local 79, as a younger unit, if you take that same number, 15 years, it only protects 50% of the workers. CUPE Local 79 represents everyone from child care workers, building inspectors and recreation staff. If talks break down, the city has a contingency plan, but many hope it won't come to that. I'm hoping that they'll find a way to avert the strike. Terrible situation for everyone. Everyone concerned and that really is almost all of us, isn't it?